Dustin Poirier. And with Dustin Poirier and Daniel Cormier, safe to say that Lafayette, Louisiana has made a pretty good UFC footprint over the last few I years. I love it. Dustin Poirier back on the proving ground here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, five losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, 6 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Dustin the Diamond Poirier! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Hopefully you can table the Louisiana bias here tonight as Dustin Poirier takes on Conor McGregor. You know Poirier's been shopping at the bit to get this rematch. Ask and you shall receive. He's finally gotten it, and he had to really claw and scratch to get back to this position. Conor disposed of him very quickly in the first fight. Dustin feels as though he's done everything necessary to change the outcome in the second attempt. Single collar tie there. Couple of chins here being tested early. All right, so the former interim lightweight champ Dustin Poirier in a good striking flow here tonight, DC. That left hand nearly put his opponent out. Nearly puts him out. Can't take many. Dustin's so big and physically strong for 155. I can't believe he's to fight at Federal. He looks like he could never have made that weight. He's found his home at lightweight, and you see the damage he can inflict with one strike. Finds a home for that left hook. Big hook. Poirier's hook to the body appeared to be blocked by the defense. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Poirier. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, he's hurt. He's got him hurt here. Oh! Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond Poirier. Oh, big hook. That'll leave a mark. Oh! Left hook, right hand. He's got him hurt here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Defense there, huge block for him. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh, 
nice punch lands over the top. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, so a strong five minutes down. Watch it, there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Oh! Oh! Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. McGregor gets up, he is back on the feet here. Oh! Back and forth we go here! Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, beautiful technique for him there on that side. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh! Beautiful diving strike lands. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Close guard. Back to the feet. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Okay, so the body now, that one won't land. This little shot lands. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Both guys landing big shots. Spinning back fist. He's hurt. Ten seconds. All right, that's the end of round number two. Listen, you can do this now. I want you to go down and put your prominent. the punch. Well, just as... Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. So 
though 67 total strikes have landed for Dustin oh. Poirier. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 13 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, Dustin the Diamond Bowen. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, 